Hey, what's going on? I'm Jens and in today's video I'm going to give you a little bit of inspiration to go out when the weather is really bad and look for your perfect job. Going out when it's raining or foggy? That sounds kind of strange, right? Because we don't really want to damage our gear. But there's a lot to explore, especially at bad weather. When you're lucky, maybe you find an ant which is pretty thirsty. Other insects don't really like the rain, but I can live with that. What I really like about a foggy morning is that all those nice small bubbles appear. The day I took that image I didn't really expect nothing. And then I took this image and I was pretty surprised that it looked so cool with all those nice colors and water droplets. The caterpillar doesn't really care if it's raining or not. It is hungry, it is eating all the time, does not care if there are water droplets on it and it's waiting there for you to get photographed. Then I put on my macro lens and I got this crazy shot. Would you have expected that a caterpillar looks so ugly? Or is it just strange, interesting? I don't know. But I think that is really scary. Look at this face. What the hell? This will become a butterfly? <laughs> that is really strange. So I kept shooting a little bit more of the caterpillar till I decided to leave it alone and look for some cool reflections on water droplets. Although this composition might look pretty simple, one might say, it is also pretty cool. Look at how the water droplet is still hanging on the leaf and you just can feel the tension of the water droplet that it don't want to burst, which is, yeah, looks pretty cool for me. Okay, I have prepared some kind of quiz for you. Can you imagine what this might be? When I was out there, I discovered those glowing pattern structure on, yeah, let's say something. Do you have an idea? Okay, I must admit that this is pretty difficult because I take those images at a magnification of 1x and some even 2x. It looks pretty amazing or gross or both. One hint, that is the eye of the thing I was photographing. You have probably already guessed it, it is a snail, which of course are mostly out there when it's wet or raining. But I was really surprised because when I took my flash and my flash diffuser, all this glowing effect on the structure on the skin appeared and I have really not expected to see that. So maybe the next time when you see a snail, grab your camera and you will probably get a big surprise when you see at the images. Okay, we leave the snail alone because I have discovered a fly with some, yeah, maybe dirt on the eye, I'm not pretty sure. Some water droplets till I suddenly discovered a bee which was hiding inside a flower. I'm not sure if this bee was exhausted because of the rain or just took a nap, but it didn't move a lot, so I had the chance to get very, very close and took some, at least, let's say, interesting images. Unfortunately, it did not turn around and had no chance to take an image from the front, but I must say, I'm pretty happy with the results. One more water droplet, and then I have discovered this crazy beetle. Look at this shell and the eyes. That is pretty amazing. Again, I think because of the cold weather, this beetle did not feel like moving a lot, so I had the chance to get again very close and capture some details on the compound eye, which I personally really like about these images. A little bit difficult to get a good composition, but that is my, I think, my best image, especially because the compound eye is illuminated pretty good and you can see all the details. That is my Venus flytrap. Maybe I've taken this image in the rain, maybe I've added those water droplets by myself, we don't know. That's also one of my favorite images. When I discovered this frog, he didn't care at all that I was there, so I had time to go down face to face and take some cool images. I think the frog was just happy and relaxed because yeah, the weather was perfect for him. There we got another small insect hiding below a flower. Then I discovered this small fly on a flower. Actually, I had discovered a rabbit. Can you see it? If you like this water droplet images, I have here another video for you where I've tested a lot of different composition only with water bubbles. I hope that I could give you a little bit of inspiration just to go out when the weather's bad or in the morning when it's foggy and there are a lot of water droplets everywhere because there's really so much to explore. That's it for today. I hope that you liked the images, that you liked my short story. Have a good day and hopefully see you on the next video.